generating millions of dollars through Shopify alone. Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, no, it's actually possible for people like you and me. Just take a look at sites like Blendjet, High Smile Teeth, Hey Silky Skin, Happy Skin Co. They all originated from originally dropshipping. And now they generate multiple millions of dollars in sales per year and work with the biggest and baddest influencers out there. All created from normal individuals that wanted a bit more from life and they really took the chance. But what's the key factor between them and us dropshippers? They managed to build a brand. That's the way to build a secure source of income, not only for 2020, but years to come and is going to be the future of dropshipping. Now, I'm sorry if I'm going to be the first to tell you this, but the old lazy dropshipping model of finding a product, throwing up a crappy general store, copying everyone's ads and descriptions, and hoping for massive success with minimum effort, so-called lazy dropshipping is dying and it no longer works how it used to. And the quicker you can get off this trend and start moving towards branded dropshipping, building the skills for it, the better the chances you have of succeeding with this business model looking forward and also for many, many years to come. We want to stand out from the herds and masses of typical dropshippers. So how do we do that without spending thousands of dollars on Facebook ads and branding your products? Since a lot of you might not be in the financial situation to be able to handle that financial burden. So what can we do? We have a few options. The main two that come to mind would be number one, to step up our marketing game immensely, start utilizing custom content or to improve our conversion rate by significantly and drastically improving our landing page and bumping it up from the industry standard of 1.5 to 2%, even up to 5% upwards. If we present ourselves in the ideal position and make our store look like the creators of the product, that's the best way to do it. And that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. We'll be creating a branded dropshipping site using the Shopify app Gem Pages. We'll be doing this live right here and now. Whether you use Shogun, Zipify Page Builder, Gem Pages, or any other page builder on Shopify out there, it truly doesn't matter. They'll all achieve the same results if you know how to use it correctly, but I just prefer gem pages as I have the most experience with them as frankly I haven't really tested out with the other ones they might be as good or they might be worse I can't really say much for that I've only primarily tried out gem pages now for those of you that don't know these pages or these apps work similarly to click funnels if you are familiar with this and they just give you a lot more customization options that the normal Shopify themes wouldn't this really gives us dropshippers the opportunity and possibility to stand out from tons and tons of dropshippers running with these normal typical themes as we can customize customize these landing pages to our liking and position ourselves even as a brand as a lot of different company stores they really spend thousands and ten thousands hundreds of thousands on site development coding etc and we can do this very very simply just by using this very very cool Shopify app now I really like using these page builders especially to build these unique upsell bundles which we can utilize fantastically to increase our average order value to extract more profits one of my favorite methods to do so and will become increasingly more important looking forward towards Q4, which is right around the corner. In the last video, I let you guys decide which product I should build the store around. And you guys chose this insane charging cable. I really believe this product has a lot of potential and I do believe a lot of customers could be interested in having more than one of these charging cables if presented with the right offer. And after I'm done building this entire store, I'm gonna be giving it away to one of you guys. All you guys have to do to win this store after the video is over is to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and also comment hashtag Shopify down below and do make sure that you enter the private Facebook group of mine because that's where I'll be announcing the winner of this store in one week's time so you wouldn't want to miss out. Now that I've kept you waiting long enough let's jump right into the video and start off by building our site. So once you've installed the app here's what the dashboard looks like. We have five different page options. We got sub pages, home pages, product pages, collection pages, and blog posts, but we're only gonna be focusing on the actual landing page creation for this particular video. And we got lots and lots of different exciting themes that we can choose from for various different options, whether it's the contact us page, the about us page, or the actual product slash landing page. But if we browse through here, there are lots and lots of great themes and templates already done for us that we can automatically choose and update and create to our liking. So if you also want to spice up your contact us or your about us page and really get fancy, you have the options to right here. And we'll be building our landing page of the skincare template. I really like the look of that and that's what we're going to be choosing. So this is the default look that we have right now. We get all these different sections that we can change up to our liking and optimize so that it looks ideally and presented in the best 
possible way for our consumer. And I've already created the logo for our site, which is going to be named UniWire through Canva and Photoshop. And I'm pretty happy the way the logo turned out. Maybe I'll change it up later on in the video, but for now, that's what we're going to be rolling with. And the great thing about gem pages is that you can turn off header and footer. I really like that part because therefore we obviously eliminate additional distractions for the customer if they reach our page so that they don't have any option to click on our homepage, browse different products or browse the footer and therefore distracting them from the initial buying intent, which could really throw them off from actually purchasing our product and they might leave our page. Now I've shown you how the theme looks by default. We'll be making a few significant changes to it. But before we actually dissect this template, here's how I like to create my landing pages, especially using gem pages. So up top, we got the logo, our brand logo, since we're not going to have a header. Below that, we either have the actual product title or some kind of additional headline to the actual product, at least on mobile. Then we got the product images, a few more benefits with icons, and we got our very first button, our call to action if the consumer would already want to buy the product immediately. This is all above the fold. Then we got a set of bars and icons with more benefits. I like to segment this and contrast this to the above part and have it in a different color scheme to really segment the site and make it flow nicely. Then we got a few more benefits with bullet points and some visual components, whether it's a GIF, video, or images. Then if we need a how it works section for particular products, you will need it and it will be very, very helpful. And if a before and after actually is suited, then you can also add that down below or above. Then the best part about gem pages, we got bundles for increased average order value so that the consumers can buy one, two, three, four, five of this particular product. However, you want to structure your bundles. Then we got the guarantee for our particular product and FAQ section to follow up to answer as many objections off the bat so that the consumer doesn't have to ask additional questions and holding off from purchasing the actual product. And then to end off the page, we got some reviews for social proof and a footer with ideally a customer support email. So now let's get started with the very first section. Up top on the current template, we got this hero banner. Now here you can add an image in the background if you'd like, but we're gonna ideally scrap this and give it a default white canvas. So for this, we're gonna simply remove the image and go under design and background and change the color to default white. Next up, we're gonna upload our logo instead of the gem page skincare, we're going to upload our Uniwire logo and also adjust it under dimensions correctly so that we have a fitting size. In this case, I chose 300 pixels and the height I just left on auto. Underneath the logo, we're going to simply drag and drop a section for the image. That's where we want a product image. For this, we're obviously going to need some very, very high quality content that we ideally want to find from AliExpress listings and suppliers. So I went ahead to different AliExpress suppliers and listings and downloaded different images and also videos from the suppliers using Ali Hunter, a fantastic Chrome extension that downloads these images in very high quality. Now I'll just change out this image for now and put it in as a default picture. Later on, we'll probably change it out with a white background image, but for now, this is just a filler. And what I want to do right now is simply rearrange and move all the text and the buttons and everything that we have on the right side practically to the left side and the image to the right because I think that will look a lot nicer. So we managed to find a white PNG background picture and we just simply added it on the right side, which I think looks a lot cleaner and nicer than the previous image. Now we currently have the following structure. We have a headline up top and four different bullet points for different benefits. We want to make sure that the headline is a short and simple snappy but poppy benefit to capture the consumer's attention because believe it or not, that does impact your conversion rate significantly. You have to see your headline as a ad copy or an ad to the rest of your product description. So we're going to go with the wire that never tangles and we're going to change it up to a different font that seems a little bit more modern. And for this, I went with Varel around. Now we're going to go with four different benefits to really show off the product's functionality and the benefits right off the bat, what the consumer has from this particular product. It's important to emphasize benefits and not features. Make sure you promote benefits. So how this product actually helps the consumer, how it boosts their life in any regard instead of promoting predominantly technical features. So like the length of the actual cable, sure, that helps, especially with this one. We're like the power, like the watt for this particular product. As for a lot of people, that's not really relevant. You should mention it somewhere, but for any particular product that you want to sell, you want to predominantly be advertising the benefits, how this product makes the life better of the consumer. And
And the four benefits that I chose for now are easily extendable, 2x, faster charging, easy storage, and also build to last. Now we'll remove the green images and replace them with fitting icons. For this, we just simply choose an icon from the different templates and also elements and drag a drop in front of the actual text. We'll also delete the images right here. We also have to make sure that the icon is fitting and correlates well to the actual benefit that we have right here to make sure it fits well. Obviously, we're going to make the icons a little bit smaller and change up the color and font so that it looks a lot nicer. But honestly, right now, I'm not really feeling the green or the logo, so I've decided to change that up right now. And I do believe this looks a lot nicer. I do believe the logo is a lot, lot cleaner. And I really am feeling the blue a lot more than the green. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Green or blue? Did I make the right choice? I think blue is definitely the way to go. Oh, and it's fun to play with is the fifth benefit that I decided to add because if you look at the actual images and the videos of the product, it does seem quite fun and satisfying to play with. So that's just a little thing that I decided to add here. I really love the customization options of literally anything, especially the buttons of gem pages. We can really play around with the fonts, the sizing, the width of the button, the height of the button. If we want to put on a border, different fonts that we want to present, we can give the button a drop shadow. There are so many different variations that you can do and change up your button to the liking and really split test the hell out of this. So what I did is I changed up the font to make it stand out from the rest of my page. And I also changed the color of the button and made it slightly bigger. I give it this nice, blue tone, gave it a drop shadow and also a border with a darker color to really make it stand out for the customer. So he really, really wants to click this button. Now we're pretty much done with this section for now. We're on to the next section with some icons and additional benefits. This is how the icon section looks right now and doesn't really look great. So in order to segment it well, we're going to give it a dark navy blue background to make sure it's a contrast from the white to the dark blue so that the page flows nicely and looks really, really presentable. By the way, if you feel that I'm going too quick at any given moment, please feel free and go ahead to stop the video at any time go back and rewatch the given section if it is too fast and you want to follow along so that's not a problem at all we're also going to add three different benefits with icons above it so that the consumer has more benefits of actually purchasing this product so we're going to be using the font Montserrat we're going to change it all in white so that it's very very easy to read for the consumer because that would be the worst thing possible we obviously don't want the dark black or the gray since that's practically impossible to read I've topped out a first benefit quick charge 2.0 and in order to keep the font sizing and everything correct we can just simply duplicate this and drag it across very very easily across all three and then change the text up manually so the two other benefits that i went with are 3x longer lasting and also easy storage and we also placed three fitting white icons above the benefits we're done with that for now now we'll be deleting a few different elements that we don't really need for our landing page so it's going to be this part this part and this part not going to be using those now we're on to the additional benefits so this is where we actually have the bullet points with the videos gifs images etc we're going to have three sections of these image on the left and also text and headline on the right. Then we're gonna swap these positions to make sure the site flows nicely. And then again, we have images on the left and text on the right. So three rows and sections for this. So I'll scrap this part and we'll just simply create a new row, drag it under our icon bar. And I want to use the row with two sections for an image on one side and bullet points and text on the other. I wanted to really show off the functionality of the product with a GIF. So I created a GIF with some parts of the AliExpress video with easy GIF. I sized it down correctly and chose the best clip a few five to six, seven seconds and simply upload it here under the image tab. And I really like the look of it. I think it adds to the site nicely. This really shows off the product functionality very well in a flashy fashion. On the right, we'll be adding a heading for our bullet point and drag a text block for our text underneath it. Obviously, you can very easily change up the sizing, the fonts, and also the alignment of the text. But I think this goes without saying, you can just play around with alignment right here where the font size is just by clicking plus minus or typing it in manually. We want to make sure that we have bullet points summarizing the main benefits of the actual product so that the consumer, if he's too lazy to read, he can skim over it and know what the product is about. So definitely have the bullet points a lot bigger and add smaller text to explain it a little bit more in detail for those people that do want to read up more. As you can see, you can choose from an abundance of different templates that you can simply drag and drop to your product page and customize freely to your liking, ranging from different variations from FAQs to tabs to swatches to headlines to carousels, you name it. There are so many different options that you can choose and we're looking out for a particular button. Now we could create this button from scratch or we can just simply duplicate it very easily from the button up top and that's what we're going to be doing. So now we're done with the first of these three sections. So what we're going to 
to do is we're going to simply duplicate this row and basically swap positions. So now all the text is going to go on the left and the image is going to go on the right. We'll add a nice image with two more benefits and bullet points. Since our benefits and bullet points are quite sure, I decided to add in two because two fit quite well. This is the image that I decided to go with. The two benefits that I chose for this particular section is easily extendable and hide it away, promoting how the product really saves space in comparison to normal cables. Now we're going to do that same process again and also going to have the images on the left again and the text on the right. The two last bullet points that we're going to go with are going to be easy to store and build to last with another button so that they can buy any time they like. So obviously we just simply duplicated the buttons from above. I also added a playful element under the second section. Warning, playing with the cables is very satisfying. Okay, so now we've probably got the best part about gem pages ahead of us, the bundles. This is such a fantastic way to increase your average order value and also profit margins. You can choose whether you want to offer one, three, five, two, four, six, however that you want to start selling. And you want to emphasize that the biggest bundle, so in our case, we're gonna be going with one, three, and five. They're gonna be able to buy these three options of quantities so they can buy one cable, which is obviously gonna have the lowest sales percentage. We're gonna also have the option to buy three and also five. Five will for sure be the best offer. Always make sure to present the highest quantity in the best offer. We want to make sure that the consumer always buys the biggest option because they perceive it as the best possible value and also the best possible offer. People just love to say, and you won't believe how many people actually choose this highest priced bundle. So the first thing that we'll do is we're gonna change the background to our congruent color theme and we're gonna have a light blue and add the headline, select your offer. Gem pages will automatically use your default product images, but I'm not really a fan of how that looks. I wanted to make it look a lot better, so I already created images to highlight the quantity of the cables visually through Photoshop. I uploaded them and dragged and dropped them accordingly. So we're gonna change up these bundles quite a bit as I'm not really a fan of how they look right now and I do believe they can look a lot nicer. So we're gonna delete the initial product title and add our own above the images. We're gonna have one, three, and five. We can really play around a lot right here. We're also gonna showcase how much they can save on each offer underneath the bundle. With one, they save $10. With three, they save $40. We'll price three at $49.99 and the before price will be $89.99 as our initial product cost, the selling cost, the before cost is $29.99 times three, $89.99 roughly, makes sense. And the option of five will be priced at $74.99 and the before price $149.99, giving them $75 that they save, which is 50% and therefore the best possible value and the best possible deal. The pricing is currently incorrect, but we'll change that up later. I'm also gonna add another headline under the save 75 only in the middle section with a border to make sure it stands out to the consumer. I'm going to write best value and gonna give it a big big border But I'm not really a fan of the navy blue and I'm gonna change it up to this really neon green as I think that really stands out a lot a lot more We're also gonna simply upload all the logos Underneath the product images and size them correctly to give it this branded aesthetic We'll also change up the buttons similar to our prior ones with the same color scheme borders and drop shadow We've removed the now only part as I didn't really think that was relevant beyond that I've also dragged and dropped the 100% no risk guarantee underneath the button to hopefully increase our conversion rate with this store. And we can also differentiate the sizing of the before and after pricing. For the before price, I scaled it down to 25 pixels and the after price, I left it as default at 40. Now I tried out different color schemes for the before pricing, but in my opinion, the default gray looked best. And also after playing around with the coloring of the stars, I didn't really like the initial gold. I tried out yellow, I tried out a dark blue, but in the end, I decided to go with the cyan, which I think looks the best out of those. The last thing that I want to do is to make sure that the middle column of the bundle of five really stands out. So what we're going to do, we're going to give it a significantly bigger border and also a drop shadow by clicking on the product, then under design and changing up these accordingly. We're going to go with a similar green tone as with the best value. Now it's really highlighted well, and we're done with the bundles for now. We'll get to those back later. We're going to delete this testimonials part for now as I'm not really a fan of it, so no need for it. And we're going to add another row right now underneath the actual bundles. For this, we're going to be going with a guarantee. I decided to go with a 30 day guarantee. If you want to offer a different guarantee, go ahead. Sure, if you want, you don't necessarily have to offer a guarantee, but from my experience, it is worth offering a guarantee that will significantly increase your conversion rate in the long run. And I mean, if your product is of actually good quality, you won't face as much returns anyways. I'm also going to be using the navy blue background to keep congruency again. On the left side of this row, I'll upload this 30 day back guarantee, PNG, fit it and size it correctly, and a fitting headline and text on the right. Boom! The 
guarantee section is also done. The next section that we'll get into is changing up the FAQ. Having a frequently asked questions section is very, very important. And a lot of people don't really have this, which in my opinion is like giving away money because a lot of customers and consumers will have a lot of questions up front and off the bat and maybe some objections that they want to have answered and handled first before actually purchasing. So we want to make sure that we get those out of the way as soon as possible. If you're unsure what type of questions they might ask, here I recommend going on Amazon and finding the exact listing of a similar product or the exact same product and look at what kind of questions the customers are asking. Or you could also browse on competitors ads and see what the comment section is asking. I will only keep this part short for the sake of the video so it doesn't get too long. And I've just simply changed out the fonts and made sure it was correctly. And I decided to go with these four questions for now. Can you charge Apple devices with this? What if it doesn't work? How long the shipping take? And does UniWire have a warranty? Behind the scenes, I've actually edited and created the products correctly so that we will have the right pricing right now for the actual bundles. We're nearly completely done with the landing page. We just have a few minor changes that we have to finish up, such as link the buttons and make sure that the buttons actually lead directly to the checkout and not to the add to cart. But before that, we have to make sure that our checkout is set up correctly. After that, we have to go back to the initial theme. In our case, we're still running with debut and we're just gonna add our logo incorrectly. Make sure that it's a PNG background where we're gonna choose the large option. We're also gonna be adapting the colors and the fonts correctly. So we keep our brand identity through our initial color scheme. So as you guys can see, we've set up the pricing correctly. All of them have the correct value right now. Don't mind that it's still in euros. It will update eventually. I've already changed the options to dollars. Once it's live, it's gonna be in US dollars. And now a fantastic feature feature about gem pages is what we can do right now is we can click on Ajax cart right here and choose checkout so that the consumers actually skip cart and go directly to checkout. So normally if a customer would click on this order now button, it would send them to the normal cart page. But what we've done with this button with the Ajax checkout settings is we're sending them directly to the checkout page. Therefore, we eliminate the drop off from the add to cart to checkout page. And that's a great way to increase our conversion rate. And we're obviously going to do that for all three buttons. And what we're going to be doing with the rest of our buttons is we're going to be linking all the buttons to scroll down to the section that we want. In our case, that's going to be the bundles. So every time a person clicks on the other buttons, this will automatically drag them down to select from one of the three bundle options. And that's it. We're done. That's the whole landing page completed. One negative aspect though, is that this was created for desktop only. And we obviously want to make sure that this is optimized for mobile since the majority of our purchases will probably come through mobile. And it's quite annoying to set up the mobile version correctly. If you've already done the desktop in advance, since you're probably going to have to hide a few sections on mobile and desktop and tablet individually to make sure it still looks nice. But I'm not going to go super in depth in this video how to drag and drop and hide these correctly since it's just time consuming and it's not really too difficult to figure out. But I'll make sure to do the off screen for the winner of the store. So how about we take a look at the finished product, the finished landing page, at least on desktop. So here it is. I think it turned out very, very well, highlighting different benefits and aspects. I think the site flows nicely. We got the product bundles and it really looks like an actual brand that we've managed to present here. I think it really turned out well. Let me know what you think of the store. Now that we're done with the complete landing page setup, you should be ready to dominate your competitors for this upcoming Q4 with your optimized landing page. If you stuck through this video this long, I really, really do appreciate it. And remember that I'm giving this store away to one of you guys. So definitely don't miss out on this giveaway. All you guys have to do is like this video, comment hashtag Shopify in the comment section below, subscribe to the channel if you aren't yet. As I do believe a lot of you guys aren't, just look at the statistics. I mean, there's clearly something wrong. And if you do enter the giveaway, make sure you join the Facebook group because that's where we'll be revealing the winner in exactly one week's time. Thank you guys for watching this video. That's it. It. Hopefully you guys learned something new. Hopefully you are all set and ready to cock the Q4 with this particular landing page setup. And that's it from me. Bye-bye.